guys, so sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, I've had a lot on last weekend. We went down to Tassie to introduce uh, Maisie to some of the family who can't actually uh, travel. So yeah, that happened. Um, and the weekend before, I had a roller derby thing, so I really haven't had much of a chance to do much work at all. Um, what I have done though, just in a couple of hours here and there, is I managed to, not that one, this one, managed to put up another um, portal thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've waterproofed it. I think I may have already shown you this. I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I've done that. Uh, I've also put in some insulation up here and on the opposite side and um, yeah so all I need to do now is just put some of this uh, blue stuff up uh, I don't know what it's called to be honest it's like a membrane or something I, I don't know um, I do plan on getting a uh, staple gun so I can staple this up nice and flat and then that way I can then put up the the wiring and then the, the panel. Three hours later. We'll be working on placing this this little piece here. Um, that's so I can get this door on nice. Uh, I will be replacing. I might even go over to Bunnings today and get a new lock because the door keeps opening and there was a heap of water around here. Uh, I got water and everything, my drill bits, everything. So they're a bit rusty now. The floor got pretty wet. Um, but yeah, it's because the door wasn't on. Uh, so I'm gonna fix that up today and that'll also put a little bit of security in here. Uh, and I can then start keeping my tools in here instead of having to get them out all the time which is a little bit inconvenient, but you know, what can you do? So yeah, oh, I also got a 240 to 12 volt inverter. So um, I can then, what I was planning on doing is, is having that running. Um, so I can just do 240 for now. And then once I get my solar panels, battery and all that kind of stuff, I can have like a, a a switch which will then switch it all over but it'll, everything will be running 12 volt uh, I will have a couple of 240 straight 240s uh, so I can then run my computer and stuff in here for when I'm working from home because like I said before I'm going to make this a home office as well yeah uh, what else yeah not not a lot's happened on the caravan. A lot of stuff has happened outside of the caravan. Um, not to the caravan, but just like, you know, life stuff. Uh, haven't really had much to really document, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, I will, I guess, get stuck into it. realize that you probably can't actually see me over there. I'm taking these screws out. On the other side of this. So, I can put it on a piece of timber here. Just gotta clean up all of these. And this, put in a new piece of timber. Uh, which 
I've been able to repurpose from some of the stuff I've pulled out of here. Uh, and um, yeah, then that way I've got some stuff I can screw to. Ah, oh, he's fucking screws. All oh, these little flathead screws. Shit. Uh, terrible. Not shit. Oh, I'll save it again. Uh, no good. No good. Uh, cool. Alright, I'm gonna go get this other piece of timber. Let's have a look. See if I can get some of this stuff. A few moments later. All right, so piece. Now it's got nails and stuff in it, but it's more than long enough. It's the same width. Uh, I just need to cut it down and uh, clean it up. Get rid of some of these nails and uh yes yeah, stick it in there don't be gross guys don't be gross so uh yeah you know just gotta give it a little bit of fill love and then um, shove it on in Anyway, I'm gonna go do that and then I will come back. Two thousand years later. Alrighty then. Uh, I would like to say that this is one I prepared earlier, but no, it's not. It's the same one. As you can see, I've taken all the little staples out and um, yeah, yeah. So I just basically just pull them out with a pair of pliers. They're pretty easy. And now I just have to clean up all of this sort of stuff here. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just shove it in there. See if it fits. Should fit. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Where's my brush went? Where did my brush go? Oh, it's right behind me.
So that piece uh, I've put in is in preparation for uh, when I get this stuff off Leon today. Uh, I'm not going to screw it in just yet because I'm not sure how this uh, thickness framing stuff is and then I'll eventually screw that to the framing. But I can run this wire. Uh, it's, um, it's like, whoa, I can't remember how much it was, but it was um, pretty cheap. It's like 30 meters all up. And I think it cost me like 25 bucks. Maybe. Something to that effect. So, this is going to be my wiring for some of the light, some of the power, and stuff like that. Still haven't really figured out where I'm at in my power box. I should have it at the front here. Yeah, I think I'll have it right here. Um, I just feel as though, you know, coming in the door, it's handy to be right here. There's less sort of going on uh, on this side of the caravan. Most of the stuff is on that side and towards the middle. So I think the power box uh, would be good right here. Yeah, so forgot to turn the camera on before. Uh, I'm not sure what the time is, but I think I'll probably head around to Leon's in a minute um, to get some of that framing stuff. But I thought in the meantime, while I was sort of waiting, I would screw some of the floor down. So that's what I've done. So let's see, just put some self tappers in. Um, as per um, Ollie's suggestion, I pre-drilled the holes first. So when I was putting in the self-tappers, they didn't get too hot and then burn the ply. So thanks, Ollie. Um, yeah, I've had to put one of my batteries on charge because it was a little bit flat. Uh, so I think while that's charging, I will um, head around to Leon's. Oh man, it's hot out here. I'm glad this is up because it is a significant difference between here and here. Oh, damn, it's so hot. I've got all the windows open. Um, but, you know, not much more I can do. I will um, see you when I get back, I guess. Hey guys, so uh, what have I done today? Well, a lot. Um, I was able to go get a bunch of timber from uh, Leon, uh, so to use as my framing stuff. So it's that stuff over there. Uh, uh, I have framed up this whole wall. So I've got these frames are the main frames. I fixed up the door frame on one side. Um, I do need to do that top bit and then the other side, but I need to just finish the ceiling there first. I didn't want to put any more of the ceiling on because I didn't want to add any more weight to the roof before I'd actually put any structural sort of support. Uh, so uh, I might even just leave that to last, to be honest. Um, I've still got uh, some of this sort of stuff here to fix, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to leave it to last. But I have, I've made up a, a box around the uh, wheel arch, which will be 
a place where I can sit, so I'll put a cushioned thing over the top. Um, I've put one side of the framing here for the bed. So the bed is going to be 1400 out um, and at about seven, so 670 high. So 670 high, yep. Um, and the width of the bed, I don't think it actually does the whole trailer, so I will put up some, a little bit of shelving to go around the whole back of the bed. Um, so yeah. But this wall, solid as a rock. It's not going anywhere. So, if I get a chance tomorrow, I will do the other side, and then um, any sort of leftover pieces that I haven't done, like a little piece there and a little piece there, uh, some anchor point bit up here for the panels, um, I will put those on because otherwise it's going to be too difficult and it's going to have a, a, a weak spot on the board and I don't want that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it uh, really came along. I sorry I didn't I didn't actually include all of that work in the video. My battery died, and then I was just so stuck into what I was doing. I just kept going and going and going, and uh, I thought, bugger it, I'll just show you guys at the end. Um, oh, I also ran some two, uh, some 12 volt cable, which I actually think I've already shown you guys that. Um, and I'm thinking I might put the fuse box here. So I'll put the fuse box there. Uh, and then it's easily accessible without having to climb over stuff to, or get into stuff to get to it. It's all easily accessible. But yes. That's what I've done today. I can't really do much more because my batteries in my both of my drills are flat. Um, and so that's pretty much all I can do today. I've secured the floor. The floor's on. I really wanted to paint the bottom of it first, but oh well. I'll just have to look into getting the underside sprayed somehow. That's it from me today. I'm not going to do any more. Knackered. My batteries are flat. My body battery is flat. And I'm thirsty. I think there's a beer in the fridge. I'm going to have that and sit in the hammock. So, yeah. That's me. Alright. Bye.